Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Jesh. And I am Shreya. And today we are in a city which is in the northwest part of Belgium and we are in Ghent. So right now we are standing just in front of Ghent Central Railway Station and we will be taking a tour inside the city. And this city is also the capital of East Flander. Ghent is also the third largest city after Brussels and Antwerp. We have started our journey from Antwerp and it took us approximately 50 minutes to reach here by train. So guys, Ghent is also very easily reachable from Brussels. It only takes 30 minutes to travel from Brussels to Ghent. So the accessibility of Ghent is really easy and simple. Now we are heading towards the city center of Ghent and we'll show you what places you can visit when you are in Ghent. Me and Jesh, we live in Germany and we love to travel and explore different cities of Europe. So if you are interested in travel related videos, Videos, then do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. It would mean a lot to us and it also motivates us to make such videos. Right now I'm in front of Ghent Central Railway Station and we have come here by train. If you are planning to do multiple journeys within Belgium or if you are traveling in a group then rail ticket of Belgium might be helpful for you. It is nothing but a ticket which is valid for 10 journeys either for a single person or people in a group. The only thing is if in a group then you all should travel together and it costs 87 euros only for 10 journeys. If you are using the mobile app SNCB then it costs only 84 euros. Before booking your ticket just check on SNCB app you might get some good offers. This was something I wanted to share with you before starting this video and let's head to our first destination. The city centre of Ghent is not so close from the railway station so it might take approximately 20 minutes if you travel by bus or tram. In the evening it will be a good idea to spend some time near the canal and take a walk nearby and if you get some time you can also take boat tours here in the canals. Now I am in the old town of Ghent and you can see Belfry Tower. It is also called Belfort. So this Belfort is 91 meters tall and the tower is the largest tower in Belgium. So this was constructed in 14th century and right in front of it there is St. Bravo's Cathedral. This tower is also a UNESCO heritage site and you can climb on it. You just need to pay some entry ticket and go up to get a beautiful view of the city. You can see St. Bravo's Church which is right in front of Belfry Tower and it is magnificent. It is as old as 1000 years and to get inside you need to come before 6 pm in the evening. You can see the architecture of this building is so old and it is as old as 1000 years. Right now I am standing in front of St. Nicholas Church. You can see behind me the church. So this church is also looking really amazing and this is very close to the Belfry Tower and we were just walking in the city centre, we came across this church and we are now going to explore this city of Ghent and we are going to walk in the city centre and we are totally loving the vibe of this city because the streets are cobblestone streets and there are also cafes and restaurants nearby so we are seeing that people are having nice fun here and the weather also seems to be really nice now it's almost evening and it's not too warm at the moment because it was really warm in the afternoon and we were just hoping for some cool weather and now i can see that so i think we are going to enjoy this weather today just in front of the saint nicholas church there is also some place here to sit so people are enjoying their time here so if you want you can also sit here and have fun Just next to the St. Nicholas Church, I am seeing so many cafes here and just have a look at those beautiful guild buildings. So the vibe here is really amazing and if you are planning to visit Ghent, then definitely check this place out. So guys, Ghent is definitely a small city, 
but it is really very charming. So I'm getting very nice view of the city from the St. Michael Bridge. So when you are inside the city center, you don't need to take any bus or a tram to travel inside. You can walk on the foot and the atmosphere here is really amazing. And this city is really interesting for those people who like history and architecture because this is a historic city and the architecture of this place is really amazing. So if you want, you can come here in the evening because now it's evening time and we are really enjoying walking here. We were walking around the street near the church and we found out this beautiful colorful street called as Graffiti Street. So if you are here, do check it out. Before Ghent, we have also travelled to Brussels, Bruges and Antwerp. So if you are interested in watching those videos, we will provide the link in the i button so that you can watch our Belgian travel series. We really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, then do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and it will really mean a lot to us. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so that you stay updated to all the new videos we upload. And thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you in the next one. Until then, take care and travel safe. Bye-bye.